All right, so we are ready to uh, install this um, ranch hand brand bumper here. Um, this particular brand of bumper, uh, it's got these brackets. Um, that's some kind of a splash card. I don't yet know where that goes. I've been trying to figure that out. Um, these brackets <coughs> mount using the bolts uh, holding in these tow hooks. You don't have to take the tow hooks out. You just got to take these bolts out to get these in. That'll be done before. We've got the brackets and <coughs> hardware for the fog lights. So we're going to take those out. And obviously if you don't have access to one of these, you're going to need um, a few of your buddies just buying beer. And I just went ahead and left all this cardboard and all that kind of stuff on here so I don't scratch it and ding it with these uh, chains. Left this on here and we're just going to you know lift this up and just kind of push this up there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the grill back in place. You could probably get it on and off but it's going to be a lot easier doing it here. <sighs> Had to wait for that loud truck to go by but it's going to be a lot easier putting it on here. Um, it's just reverse of taking it off, obviously. <laughs> and then, you know, we might as well just go ahead and put the plastic cover on, on top here. That way that's all done. Um, the reason the grill came off is because it was easier uh, with the stock bumper. Um, the way it was designed, it was really hard to get up in here to get to these bolts. But with the grill off stock bumper, we removed... Uh, those you can go check out those uh, videos or i may put it all together i don't know yet but um anyways but we're gonna have as you can see with this bumper we're gonna have plenty of room under here to get to the bolts to uh install that and we will be using the uh, factory bolts right back in these same holes there um there's actually no few few bolts they've they've got come with here but um we'll discuss that as we go but anyways um go ahead and get them fog lights out of the factory bumper okay this is how to remove these fog lights unplug this deal we've got three deals here which is just what it looks like getting this out and you see these uh tabs like this you're going to be squeezing those in kind of as you're pulling down on it okay so as you're kind of pulling down you want to squeeze these in until it starts to go down. Pretty easy. And once that happens, you get all three of them. You will uh, just pull out your fog light. And keep them between left and right, keep them the same. I believe that's how those brackets will work. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is get the uh, harness out of here. It doesn't matter whether you break these or not. They're not going to be able to be reused this way anyhow. But um, you got these clips in various uh, different places. Um, and so it's just a matter of uh, finagling the uh, harness um, out of here. Don't know if I can show it, but it's just, you know, you got the I have one more clip still yet in here. Feels like there might be. Sometimes you can take your needle nose pliers and push them there because the clips are going that direction. And once you do that, you can finagle this out. And then um, you got more of them right here. But a lot of times you can take these and Push these out. Okay, got that one. And you just kind of got to angle the harness out. I got one more clip I didn't realize. And 
Boom. Got it. All right, now we got our uh, factory fog lights mounted in here. It's the way this uh, bracket is designed, pushing it th through the holes using the factory clips. Comes with this deal here. That way you can still have your up and down adjustment. That's what it used to look like before it was installed. Here's your bracketry and your bolts and all that. This is a picture of what they are talking about. Um, And anyways, that's it's pretty simple. Got these bolts all tightened up, and uh, yeah, not too bad. Okay, one thing I didn't realize I said mentioned earlier about these fog lights um, staying left and right because I thought maybe the configuration was different, but it's not. They are exactly the same. So as you can see, we got that bracket on that side. And then it's also on that side. So they are, these brackets have to go left and right. They're different, <clears throat> but the fog light itself doesn't matter. Now, when you're unplugging these, see this little green deal here? Make sure that it, when I unplugged it, I found these things laying over by the where I took these apart. Um, they just need to be, just put it up here in the harness itself. And uh, I'm gonna need both hands to get some more slack to get in that. So anyways, we're routing the harness through. I don't know if they, they must have provided us with these, obviously for uh, running the wires through, but that keeps the wires up in the bumper. I like to run them around through like this so they're not hanging down at all. Because any of that type of stuff makes it better for, you know, brush and and whatnot if you're ever going through that so I mean it doesn't say anything about it in the instructions but it just fits perfect right in that little notch right there on both sides and it's not stretched but it's just out of the loop enough so that when we get in here we'll get this thing uh, clip or plug back in and, and find a spot to uh, tie it up. It'll make it all really nice and clean. Um, I think I'm going to also try to get this tucked up out of here or something. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that for sure, but I want to hang this differently um, and get rid of these, you know, for less weight. <clears throat> not a huge deal, but just my eight OCD about it, I guess. And yeah, so we'll keep on going. Okay, so what I did was I just ended up putting uh, zip ties, three spots right here, and just ran that, you know, see how thick that is there, and just ran it right along there. You will be able to see the zip ties from the other side, kind of, if you duck down, it shouldn't be, but it should, it'll, it'll look pretty clean. Um, so anyways, that's all nice and, uh, not overly tight, but snug, and then we'll, uh, we'll figure out what to do with that later. Let me tuck it back here uh, out of the way so it don't get smashed when we go put the bumper on. And that's going to be coming up here right quick. Okay, our next step here is uh, putting these brackets on. I was looking all over trying to figure out where this splash guard goes. This must go on something maybe like the <clears throat> radar or something or, or whatever for your adaptive cruise control that we don't have on this pickup because I cannot figure out where that's supposed to go. Um, so these bolts here are going to end up uh, in uh, this hole there which mounts here, you know, and that's why we have new bolts here because this is a whole new piece there but the rest of these eight bolts four on this side four on that side we'll use the factory bolts that we took out and then um these rubber grommets are probably things for it's probably just a generic kit for everything but these plugs we are going to probably just put them in these holes i imagine because i don't think they need a plug in that hole or that one maybe not but maybe these um for some these are be, be for some uh sensors and whatnot which this pickup does not have so um i'm surprised you can get a pickup this new without all that stuff but that's actually pretty neat because if i could afford one and get one i'd probably want to have all that
crap off of there too, but the way this works is we're going to uh, take this bolt out of the bottom. We're going to loosen this out of here. That bolt's going to, big bolt's going to slide out of there. And then this is going to uh, go on just like that and it'll match up with those both those bolts and then we'll retighten them again reusing those bolts and then we'll just put this right back and it's going to stay right where it is it may come all out while we're putting this together but we're gonna it's gonna go right back in here because there's holes through the bumper for it to go or for them to go i should say okay there's how those brackets mount on pretty easy 18 millimeter for all the sizes on there. We got that one on that side. And I don't know if I pointed it out but before, but this is gonna match up, should match up to uh, mount, I don't know which side, but that really don't matter. But um, that's good, should line up to mount that there along with your bolts going this direction for your main one. So our next step now is to get this bumper uh, pushed up here and start bolting it on all right so this is how everything bolts on that on the this bracket on the inside that bracket on the inside and then you got your uh, eight bolts right there all tightened up um, was easier to uh, loosen these leave these loose these two loose when you get to ever get everything lined up. Bolt, uh, tighten these ones down first. Make sure it's all aligned left and right, centered. And uh, there you go. So now, um, you know, things look pretty good on the outside as far as all that goes. And we got our fog lights in there. A back look not too bad the only other thing we're going to do is uh, see that we're going to trim um, part of that fender well we're just going to trim it just a little bit right underneath the where these are screws right here we'll leave those we'll go right underneath them and just trim it off a little bit since this bumper tucks up a little bit you don't notice it like when you're standing here but you do notice it uh, when you're standing here. We'll just take that little bit off of there, make that look a little better. But not a bad looking bumper though. Yeah, we'll just trim a little bit on that fender well too, just like that. And uh, pretty good. Um, I had forgotten about, you know, this is exactly where this uh, harness used to go where this plug used to mount right here for the original wiring harness. And so now it just is uh, right up there like that. And all the same stuff we saw before, as far as how the wiring goes, all tucked up there nice and clean. I think I'm gonna try to zip tie this up here like so, just to keep it up higher than it is, so. And I think one other thing I'm gonna do right quick is uh, since everything is black on this deal, I'm just gonna take a little bit of spray paint and just gonna kinda touch the end of that bolt off right there just to kinda make it uh, match a little better, I guess. I don't know, I'm just really OCD, anal, whatever you wanna call it, about that kind of stuff. And uh, it even bothers me, you can see all that stuff in there, but there's nothing I can do about it. You gotta get the air in there, which is good. And uh, yeah, so. Yeah, there we are. I got that little touched up there. Looks a little better. And then there we got the fender well just trimmed, like I said, right below those screws. That way it's not uh, hanging down noticeable like it was before. Oh, come on, light. There we go. So, like that on both sides. Anyways, came out. Came out pretty good. Anyways, thanks for watching.